Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Now, last time out, I built my own new uh, truck, which you can see on screen, although this is not quite a the best view and nor any of these. In today's video, I'm going to be taking out this cab for its first journey. And the plan is not to pick up a job today. So today will be a fairly short video. Plan is to go to the Scania racetrack or the testing grounds. And that is what I'm going to be doing. So I will be driving over from here. I may go and buy that, uh, that garage at some point, although I can easily drive back. We will be going down, joining the E20 for a very short period of time, turning off here, going along here, heading in this direction, going over to the Scania testing track and seeing what this particular truck can do. Once there, I will also be giving you a good look around at the truck, showing you all the different features, the lights, the um, the way the wheels have been set up, the interior, well, I suppose the interior you're going to see whilst I'm driving, and then just making sure that this truck is good to go. So make sure you stay tuned for a truck test uh, without any cargo this time. But perhaps I should grab some cargo and take it around at some point. I will have to find out, but for now it will be without cargo. So make sure you stay tuned. Let's get started. Let's see what this new cab of mine can do. Okay, so here we are in in the new cab. This actually looks actually looks really good in the in the light. I thought this might be a little bit too dark, but it is not. I it would be nice to have that emblem in color. But aside from that, I think this does look nice. I I would have also perhaps preferred slightly darker greys all the way around there perhaps similar to mind you if there were slightly darker greys maybe it would not work quite as well well let's start this engine up there we go and i will go ahead and oops that's not the button there it is so i have a hud that i'm trying a it seems like it's a bit too bright. Yes, I'm not sure if that HUD is going to work out for me. It's very, very bright on the screen. And that might be to do with the fact that it's Waze that I'm using. So it, it is not quite understanding the colour scheme. Possibly. I'm not sure. Let's go through the various different uh, menus. So we have the fuel. We have the economy, temperature, pressure, trip info, truck info, cruise control, and then off. Uh, I think I will leave this on fuel for now with the add blue and all of that. It is a little small. Again, I'm going to make the standard complaint that I make about my, my screen uh, being too small and too far away. I'm looking to improve that. And let's figure out whether this truck will move so let's have a listen to it as well excellent let's get ourselves moving and the first thing I need to do is figure out where exactly I need to go uh, I think this way Ooh, this is a very nice sounding truck. I've also got my seating a little wrong. So that could be a problem. But I can adjust that as and when required. I have no idea what the gearing is like. Oh, actually, I can see it. 3L in manual, I see it. Excellent. So, turning off just here. 
a ah, slightly longer truck let's be aware of that and then I need to be going in that direction so joining the motorway right here Clear. Well, I have to say that just driving it without any driving it without any cargo behind it, it is really nice to drive. It sounds great. It it has a good size. It is quite easy to look through the mirrors at all the mirrors actually. They are very clear. So that is really good. Ah, Scania, that is where I want to go. So I'll just ease down this, try the retarder out. Yep, definitely works well. Is it Scania that way? All right. I thought it was that way, but I will follow what this says now we're already up to speed so nothing to worry about there let's do a test of high gears high gears seem quite suitable yes this is uh, this is not the way I'm sure oh I know what it is doing I, I understand what this is doing. It is trying to get me to go to the Scania, the, the actual plant, the actual factory, which is here somewhere. Or, or all of this. There, you can see all the Scanias. So I am just going to pop over here and have a quick peek. have a quick peek at what is available so I'm assuming I can pick up cargo specific cargo here and then I will go around to the factory uh, to the racetrack because I saw something about cargo there it is just out of curiosity I want to see what is available for pickup before I turn around okay Let's view this job off and let me sort out my seat as well whilst I'm at it. So, in the freight market, we have... Well, surprisingly, not things that I was expecting. Well, that's a little disappointing. Uh, okay, well, nothing to worry about. Whilst I'm here, though, I want to check the world map and try and figure out exactly what it's trying to get me to do. So, right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back that way. I was right. It was a right-hand turn there. So I'll go back that way, follow that along, and then end up at the racetrack. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's get myself uh, seated properly again. So bear with me a few seconds. There we go. That is a little better. I'm just going to turn around. Now, one of the things that I have just noticed is it is a little harder to look outside. Just a little bit harder. And that might just be the way I've set up my camera, to be completely honest. So, here we go. Pretty, it's, it's very nice to drive. It feels, I guess because I do not have anything, I'm not towing a trailer, it feels extremely powerful. 
But of course, it is quite powerful if you think about it. It's quite talky. It does look quite modern. I'm not. I'm not 100% sold on the. on some of the features on it. But overall, it looks good. I mean, the, the dashboard is decent. I'm not 100% sold on the what's in, in the middle of the tachometer. I've got the time. But also, it's sort of off to the side, so I'm not keen on that. Now, that might just be a bug. Um, I would also... I was going to say I would like to have a fuel gauge that is easier to read. I've just seen one under the speedometer. So perhaps that is the is the option I need to look at. So I'm going to turn off just here. I'm assuming this is the Scania test track. Yep, very easy to speed in this. And just follow it around, of course, as I said, with lots of power. That GPS, I think, is going to have to go. Or I'm going to have to try and do some sort of dark mode thing, because it is not... It's just not useful. Not useful in the slightest. Plenty of room to get in front of that lorry, because I've, I do not have a trailer. If I had a trailer, I would have definitely stopped there. So these are all high gears and they seem to be running really well. Headlights. Yeah, they look fine. Yes, I think there we there we go. As soon as I as soon as it moves into dark mode, it is actually really much much better so maybe maybe I'm going to get rid of that HUD that's okay almost at the racetrack or test track I keep calling it a racetrack it is a test track now hopefully everybody's having a great day whatever day this is coming out on Should be a Thursday, maybe. Aha, Scania. Excellent. Yep, this definitely says Scania here. Let's go ahead and take a screenshot. I may take a screenshot going in the opposite direction. Apparently, I have my beacons on. If I had my beacons on the entire time, I will switch that off. Should we take a look like that? I think that will do. Maybe just, just a simple, very simple shot if needed, just in case I have a, a an issue. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. That is what I meant to do. Actually, that looks quite decent. Even if I do have an issue, I might use that. There we go. Excellent. Right. Back in the Back in the driver's seat. Switch off the beacons. There we go. And uh, what shall we do? Demo center, that is what it is. Let's have a... Shall we have a quick park in front of the... I do not even know how to get onto this track. Uh, ah, I do know how to get onto the track. Yes, I see it. Um, let, let's do this. Let's drive onto the demo center circuit first. No idea which way I'm... Not that way, apparently. It's that way. 
Let's do a drive on this first. And see what this is like. Will this understeer? What, what will it do? Okay. Excellent. Good speed. Definitely good speed. What do we have? What kind of speed can we get out of this? I'm actually heel and towing in a truck. Oh, this is really nice to do, though. I'm going to end up using quite a bit of fuel, so... Physics is really good. Oh, that felt like a slight kick of oversteer. Did not know you could get that in a... I think because of the... Because of the uh, undulation. I think I, I just had a very slight kick of oversteer as the back sort of stepped out. Well, there we go. We are doing 80, over 80, as we head back into to this section. Okay, good, good. Um, let's stay here. We'll try... We'll try out the interior in a moment. I like the the lighting on the hazard lights, uh, the actual red bit. That is really nice to see. Seventy-five miles per hour. I'm just going to try and continue round here. There we go. 80, 83, 84, 85, can I hit 90? 88, 89, 90. Okay, that's pretty good. Hard on the brakes. Ooh, lock up. That was pretty cool. I think it killed my engine. I think it did. Very interesting, right. Let's try this now. Yeah, let, let's give this one a go. So, for this, we'll start in 4L. We'll go up this bit. And see what this is like. May need to actually drop to second here. Right, we'll start by going into this area doing a loop around. I'm actually just unlocking all the roads here. Yep. Works. It does oversteer slightly. We'll go this way. It's a shame these trucks do not get dirty. That would be quite cool. And here we go. Rallying a truck. Okay, well, apparently there is a solid... Well, that's not my fault. I'm going to have to fix that. There's a solid uh, tree there. That's no good. What's the point of a solid tree... Tr not a tree uh, trunk, just a branch. Didn't hit any trunk. That's fine, as long as there's a service area, which there is nearby. Bit of understeer. I'm going to avoid those uh, pine trees now. The branches appear to be solid, as I said. That's good to... It's fairly decent to drive. Let's go in round here. We're going to try a tighter loop. Let's see what the turning circle of this is. So I'm going to try to get the... Tr Ooh, yep, oversteer. Uh, what do I want to do? I'll go this way. I 
think I need to back up to unlock a bit of road, to be honest. So let's try the reverse. Why not? Yeah, the reverse works really well. Yep, reverse works quite well. Let's go back. That's back to fourth. Uh, it struggles to move off in fourth. I think my old Scania or my other Scania, the 2009 one, moves off in fourth a little bit better. This one's just a little bit... See, those, that tree is what got... These trees I'm very worried about. But we are at the end of the... Whoa! Oversteer. This, this truck can oversteer, which is quite cool. And there we go, we are back. And I will turn it in this way. Then there's parking there, but I do not want to go to the parking. Let's go over to... That's fuel. So there's going to be service right here. This is going to cost, isn't it? Stop. Good. Right, let's go ahead and get this service. Then I'll show you the truck. Yep, that's already cost me a whole bunch. Right, so, being a short video, let's go outside and have a look at the truck. Quite a decent parking spot for this, to be, to be perfectly honest. Let me do that first. Let me find a decent parking spot first, and then I will tell you. In fact, before I even do any of that, let's fill up some fuel. That's probably a good idea, too. Uh, that, that. There we go. And fill up some fuel. Shouldn't be a lot of fuel required. There we go. Excellent. Right. Oh, I could have got... I could have got rid of that uh, GPS. I will do that. I will do that uh, off camera if I remember to do so. Or should I just do it now? Let me just do it now. I will otherwise forget. Is this? This should be a cust. I should be able to customize my truck, right? Yes. Uh, truck configurator. Interior. You may you may notice it looks a little bit uh it looks different to what DLC big middle I have no idea let's get rid of it there we go confirm order uh, it looks a little different to what you may have seen when I was making it uh, when I was configuring and building it that's because uh, I had to make some adjustments right so let me show you the truck. Let me show you around the truck. Oh, and get rid of that uh, HUD. There we go. I'll pop the truck up just up out the front. Give you a quick look around and then end the video. Where should I park it? Park it right here. if this is a parking spot for a lorry it might just be though there we go it might just fit my cab so let's have a quick look around shall we I'm quite over on the bay but that's okay I'll move it forward these bays are actually really wide I was expecting really narrow base, so generally where I park in real life, places I park, they tend to have fairly narrow base. There we go, that will do. Handbrake can go on. So, here is the truck, whilst it is switched on. Lovely metallic blue paint. This is an excellent colour. I've actually saved these uh, this colour. So I can, any other trucks I... I purchase, I think, will be in this colour. It is 
it really stands out but it's also understated at the same time it's it's not too bright but in the right colors it is reminds me a little bit i'll be honest of the color of my car so let's just go through the lighting so we've got our uh, daytime running lights on the leds switched on we've got the side lamps uh, i did manage to get side lamps on the runners so i had to change that out and i've got a an upright exhaust of course we've got these tail lamps which are a uh, bus tail lamps and then became mclaren tail lamps then we've got our full lamps uh we have the beams now i could go ahead and switch on roof auxiliary lighting like so and then when i do this you've got that too so i can flash those as it were excellent then we have the horn uh, be prepared this is going to be loud that's not the one that's not the one where is it there you go switched on some hazards as well so we've got hazard lights as you can see all the way around they all work and then lastly the beacons so there you go that is oops that is not what i meant to press that is what i meant to press that is my lorry so thank you very much for watching or my my truck cab thank you very much for watching Please remember to click on the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Euro Truck Simulator 2 with this particular cab. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so. Link in the description box below. And also, you can find me on social media. Uh, well, actually, links to my social media and Discord are also in the description box below. So do go check all of that out. That is all from me. And I shall see you next time in Euro Truck Simulator 2.